MULN stock. It seems uh, there is a temporary reprieve at the moment. Um, we can see that the volumes have uh, dropped. The volumes are not as high as they were before. This is uh, this is regarded as below average. I think the average volume is about 82 million. So usually when you have a drop in uh, volume and, uh, and the trend is uh, in a certain direction, when that volume begins to drop, it might um, indicate a peak. So we may have seen a bottom for the stock. We may have seen a bottom for MULN stock. So we just uh, spiked in this in this session, spiked to about more than seven percent. Right now, it is uh, seven point five six percent. That's the gain at the moment. So we all know very well that um, there was a report by Hindenburg on uh, Wednesday that. Uh, the management of this company is uh, misleading uh, investors. It says here, modern automotive shares slip after short seller Hindenburg research accuses company of misleading investors. So, but we also know at the same time, even though it seems uh, the sellers are going away at the moment, that the short interest has increased by 359 percent. So uh, the stock is on the move. I think uh, buyers are definitely reacting to the fact that, um, that maybe sellers have have gone away because uh, the, the stock has, has started to spike. It means that the efforts of, of the buyers have uh, become more. Have, it's evidently now visible because you know the sellers have the sellers have gone away. So the buyers uh, will definitely be in charge. So that it seems that's what we are looking at right now. So our target for MULN is uh, 3.33. We're still maintaining that and uh, we'll continue to update you. Thank you very much for watching this video.